Hi everyone, welcome to your practice today. Man, I feel so happy that I get to share today's practice with you. Spend a wonderful uh, day in the woods two days ago. Yeah, it's two days ago now. And I, I just feel so nurtured. Uh, so I'm ready to really share that and hopefully hold space for some personal transformation um, as well. And today we'll talk a lot about this essence of release. And it is such a good time to discuss this because it is the new moon on Tuesday. So maybe some of you have been feeling this. Um, I've No, I've been feeling this uh, need to kind of let go of the self-limiting beliefs of the perfectionism, of the not good enough, of all of these things that I'm realizing just no longer hold a place in my life. Of course, emotions and experiences are always going to come up, but having an awareness of them enables us to really, you know, take the healing as it comes, uh, but not get lost in specific emotions that don't serve us. So today is all is going to be all about feeling into your experience, releasing anything that you feel called to release, and hopefully just shedding some light on um, the kind of life and the kind of self-talk that we want to uh, cultivate and grow. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, in a Shavasana on our back, you can cue the playlist if that is something you're interested in listening, listening along with. We'll get started lying down in a gentle meditation practice. And one more thing, my friends, um, have a strap or some sort of uh, scarf nearby. We will need that. Beginning to arrive into your present moment experience here. Allowing the back of the chest to melt down towards the earth. Relax the space in between the shoulder blades. Breathe into the belly. Noticing each inhalation. Fill your belly. Allowing every exhalation, belly hugs in towards the spine. Tune in here. What does your body feel like? Where is your mind? What emotions are coming up for you? Permission to allow this practice to be a container for any self-work that you feel called to do today. And perhaps connecting to what that work looks like. And it's okay not to know as well. You're here, you're present, you've shown up. The hardest part is over. Tune into your breath here. Noticing if it's shallow or deep. No judgment, just noticing. Mm. 
Inhale deeply through the nose, open the mouth and exhale, sigh it out. Two more deep breaths, just like this. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Beautiful, everyone. We'll start to move slowly. The eyes still closed. Go ahead and rotate your neck from one side to the other. Just bringing some awareness here. The breath will really be our ally in this practice, as it always is. Hug the knees into the chest, finding stillness. Give yourself a big bear hug. Inhale deeply, exhale, exhale it out. Beautiful, everyone. Extend your legs out and grab your strap here. Can also use any sort of scarf or belt. And then place the strap on the right foot. Extend that right foot all the way up. Open through the hamstring. And if you spend a lot of time sitting, like I do, your hamstring might have a thing or two to say. Just finding that solid balance, making sure that you're not pushing too hard, always permission to add a gentle bend in that right knee, but also making sure that you are challenging yourself in a space where there is no pain. And you can decide to melt that right leg all the way down by opening it towards the right. Slight external rotation here. And you don't need to go too far. And you may notice that in this very moment, your core is beginning to awaken too. Let's see if both hips can remain on the ground. And then gently lifting that leg back up. We'll switch feet here. Left foot comes into the strap. Right foot comes down, opening and engaging through that left hamstring. Place the strap in the left hand. Permission to lower that left leg towards the left, gentle external rotation of the foot. And again, opening up through that hamstring and igniting through the core just a little bit. Few more deep breaths here. And then lifting that left leg all the way up. And then placing the strap off to your side. Place both soles of the feet on the ground. Clasp the palms behind your head. Lift your head and your shoulders. Lift your feet and your legs with the knees bent and begin to ride your yogic bicycles here. And see how the sensation shifts if you go fast versus when you go really slow. And if your core is talking to you, wonderful. 
explore that conversation, my friends. And then you could ride the bicycle backwards too. Beautiful, everyone. And from here, we'll go ahead and rock and roll up to a seated posture here, feeling nice and awake. We're gonna extend that right leg out, left sole of the foot comes into that right inner thigh here, coming into a Janu Shurshasana. So align your heart towards that extended leg here. And you can stay here if this is enough for you. This is definitely um, a challenging posture for a lot of us. If you want to go a little further, a few options here, you can grab your strap and gently melt your chest down. We wanna try and see if we, if we can keep our spine extended though. Or you could even grab your outer edge of that right foot with your right hand and do a little side body stretch opening through the left side. Whew. Breathing in wherever you are. Beautiful. Coming back up, left palm behind your left hip. Push into that palm that's going to lift your hips up. Place that right foot down and extend that right arm towards the back. This will be a really nice long line of energy from those right toes into those right fingertips. And really just such a great opening for the side body. Beautiful, bringing your hips back down. And we'll go ahead and switch it over to the other side. Left leg extended, right sole of the foot into the left thigh here. Finding grounding and stability, maybe this is enough for a lot of us. Permission to grab a strap, placing it at your foot and slowly begin to extend your heart down or permission to grab the outer edge of that left foot with the right palm or left palm and extend that right arm all the way up to open through that right side body. That feels so good. Opening through your chest. And then gently coming back all the way up, right palm, right hip, push through that right palm, left foot on the floor, extend that left arm alongside the ear. Beautiful, my friends. Gently lower the hips all the way down. And we'll find our way onto a tabletop position here. Choose your own adventure in getting there. Align your shoulders over your wrists, the hips over the knees here. And begin to close your eyes and move in ways that feel good here. And if you're listening along to the playlist, maybe adding a little bit of the dance that's happening. I'm pretty sure this song is literally called Dance, so. <laughs> Beautiful, my friends. We're gonna tuck through the toes. Sit our buttocks onto our heels here. Bring the wrists out and begin to shake that out. We're gonna be doing a lot of shaking it off today. So this is the first of many. And then begin to shake the arms. Beautiful. Finding your way back into your tabletop, inhale, arch the spine, gaze forward, heart forward. Exhale, round through the spine, chin in. 
Inhale to open and arch. Exhale to round. Taking a few more at your own breath pattern. Awakening all sides of the rib cage here. Beautiful. From here, we'll lift that left arm all the way up, thread it in between the right, left shoulder comes down, right arm extends out front. Permission to stay here, you can go for that hamstring stretch by tucking those right toes and sending that heel back. This might give you more space to open up to. If you've extended that right leg, bring that right knee back. Right palm, right shoulder, push through that right palm. Lift that left arm all the way up. As we switch it onto the other side, I'll just change direction so you can see me better. Lift that right arm all the way up, thread it in between the left, right shoulder down, extend that left arm. Breathe into the upper back body, permission to extend that left leg. If you've extended that left leg, left knee comes down, left palm to left shoulder, push through, lift the right arm all the way up, back and down. Tuck through the toes, ground through the palms, push through, hips swim back into a down dog. Breathe deep here, inhale. And as you open your mouth, exhale, sigh something out. Gentle walk towards the front here, finding yourself in a forward fold. Allow your neck to dangle like a rag doll. Allow your upper torso to fold over. You can also place your fingers and your palms on a block if that's easier for you today. But really feeling the earth underneath your feet. Permission to do a generous bend in the knees to do this. Just feeling the solidity, the stability. Remember where you are. And gently beginning to lift all the way up, one vertebrae at a time. Mm. Lift the arms overhead, gentle back bend here, open through the chest, arms back. Palms come to heart. And we'll take a moment here to really shake out the whole body. So, we can start with the wrists and the hands and the arms, and then slowly moving into all of these different parts of the body and shaking it out. Remember to breathe here and just let it go. Let it go. Whatever it is for you today. And the energy flowing and moving out. Oh, all right. And you just may have witnessed me hit my light. Cool. <laughs> Back into it, guys. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, folding over. Ground down. On your next exhalation, see if you can imagine something melting from the crown of your head all the way down into the earth. 
Beautiful. Ground through the palms, come back into a down dog. Inhale that right leg all the way up. Place that right foot in between the hands. Coming up into a high lunge. Front knee over front ankle. Extend that left heel back. Arms alongside the ears. Clasp the palms behind you, open through the chest, shine your heart forward. Permission to either stay here or you can take a bow in gratitude, in love. Inhale all the way up. We'll come into a warrior two, Virabharadrasana two. Gaze is past the front fingertips here. Permission to maybe find a gentle smile. That we're here, we're experiencing our bodies in this beautiful community. Extend that front leg here. Gently hinge those front fingertips towards the front, hinging at the hips, come into a triangle pose. Left arm all the way up, left chest opening towards the sky. Push through those front feet here, coming back up. And now bring that left arm all the way down, reverse triangle. Beautiful, everyone. Coming through, warrior two, bend that front knee. Left palm down. Twist the right arm all the way up, opening towards the right. Right palm down. Take a vinyasa of your choice, my friends. Take a deep breath and down dog. Open your mouth and exhale. Lift that left leg all the way up. Thread it in between the front. Front knee over front ankle. Lift all the way up into a high lunge. Divide the weight evenly between the front and back foot. Arms alongside the ears. And squaring through the hips can really help with the balance here. Clasp the palms behind your back, open through the chest. Stay here or choose to melt down in gratitude for this body, for this life, for this community. Inhale all the way up. Warrior two on the other side. Gaze past that front fingertip. Straighten that left knee. Left fingertips fold forward. Hinge at the hips. Triangle pose. It feels very strange facing away from you guys, so I will <laughs> remedy that. So it's funny because while we were shaking it out, <laughs> I hit the, this uh, lamp that's right above our kitchen. I must have let go of some stuff because it's still moving. <laughs> it's not broken though, so we got that going for us. So pushing through that front foot, taking a reverse triangle, right arm all the way down, left arm lifts. Never underestimate the release of energy, I'll tell you that. 
Perfect. Coming back into a warrior two. Right palm all the way down. Left arm extends up. Twist open. Left palm down. Come through a vinyasa of your choice or choose to skip it and meet us in a child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat, big toes come to touch, hips thread gently, forehead melts down into the ground. Permission to take a neck massage here by bending at the elbows and using your fingertips to massage the back of your neck. And bonus points if you say really nice things about yourself as you do it. Beautiful, everyone. Use your palms to bring you back up. We'll come into a pigeon pose and you have a choice of how you choose to take this. So you could always choose this traditional pigeon in which that right knee is at that right wrist. That right foot is flexed to protect your knee. And then you're extending that left leg back and out. Can come here, can melt all the way down. You can even put any sort of blanket or support here. Now, if you have knee stuff and this just doesn't feel good or it feels like too much on your knees, you're gonna take this on the back. You're gonna fold that left foot, place that right ankle right above that left knee. And you can either stay there or you can thread and hug the right knee in. Of course, this is gonna be a little bit more intense of a stretch if you choose to do that. So whatever your body resonates with today, that's where you're gonna take your pigeon. And I love giving these options because it gives you the opportunity to ask yourself, what's gonna feel good to me today? And building up that skill only helps us bring it into everyday life. This has definitely been a strengthening practice. Kind of done a full body experience. So if you are feeling a little tired, know that that is normal. Before we deeply reset, I think it's important to really get that energy out. And one way we could do that is, of course, bring our heart, heart rates up and just choose to let go in active pace. Beautiful, everyone. And we'll begin the process of switching sides here. So use your palms to bring you out of this posture if you're doing it in the traditional way. Tuck through that back foot here and lift that right leg all the way up. Permission to shake it out a little bit, because that seems to be our topic. Just be mindful of any light fixtures around you. Left leg all the way up. Coming towards the front here. Left knee, left wrist. Flex that left knee. I mean, <laughs> left foot. Extend that right leg back. 
melt the chest down if you choose to take this variation. And if you're on your back, just go ahead and switch legs. One more deep breath, my friends. Gently use your palms to bring you up. Coming out of the posture as best as you feel you can, perhaps shaking it out. And we'll meet our friends on our backs here. So choosing your own adventure on how to get here. <sighs> Lift the feet off. Give yourself a hug, my friends. Say thank you, body, for this amazing hard work so far. Inhale deeply, open the mouth, exhale. Grab the outer edges of the feet, creating footprints on the ceiling. Open through the hips, rock from side to side. Permission to be playful here. Massage the back. All right, my friends, we'll go ahead and begin to transition over to our restorative postures. Gently rock over to one side. And since we talked a lot about really tuning into what we need today, we're going to put that into play in this section. I will offer two restorative postures, um, and you will decide what you want to choose. Close your eyes and bring your hands to your heart. So the first posture that I will offer in this time is if you feel like you've spent a lot of time and energy letting go, and this can be either in this practice or in life <laughs> outside of this practice. So if you've been having a lot of release and you're ready to really open up to the world again, then we'll take you through a back bend. And then if you choose to find a space where you really need to turn inward, where you really need to connect to a lot of things, a lot of emotions, a lot of experiences, we'll take a restorative child's pose. So let your heart lead the way. So just perhaps noticing what you got most excited about as I was speaking to you about it. If we take a back bend, and this is if you really want to open up, maybe you've done a lot of the inner work and you feel like you're ready to take that off of your mat. We're going to take this posture. Um, this is similar to a Supta Baddha Konasana reclined butterfly, except it's without the blocks. So you'll have a bolster at the top of your mat, place one fist, and then gently begin to lay back. You can keep your legs extended if that feels comfortable, or you can actually bend with the knees towards the ceiling. It's really whatever feels good here. 
So that's option number one. If you're like, I'm ready to open, I'm ready. This is going to give you more energy as well. Now, the restorative child's pose is going to give you a different type of energy. And this was basically all day yesterday for me. I'm just kind of restored in this sort of environment. You'll take a blanket just so that your knees feel comfortable. Gonna extend your knees as wide as the mat. Gonna bring the bolster and then just melt all the way down. This is so soothing, my friends. And really, if you need some sort of self-care, this is the best posture for it. So choosing your own adventure here, whatever serves you best. And if you're cold, permission to place a blanket over yourself as well. I'll just take a peek, make sure everyone's doing okay. Wherever you are today, permission to be there. I want to take time to slow down. We're really taking time to listen to our hearts. And that's a very brave and courageous thing to do. If you're holding any particular tension in your physical body, see if you can begin to bring attention to that space. If 
where our attention goes, energy flows. And energy creates space. And if you're in a child's pose, now would be a great time to turn your neck to the other side. And the important thing to remember is when we tend to our experiences, to our emotions, no matter how it may feel, we're actually never doing it alone. You notice how the earth meets you exactly where you are and the bolster holds you up. Aside from that, we also have community. We have the people that we love the most that we get to share this beautiful life with. The more I learn about the world, the more I realize that beauty doesn't mean perfection. In fact, I think beauty is being perfectly imperfect. Understanding that we can grow and learn. I mean, as humans, our, our brains are wired for change. But it takes work to do that, right? One of my students said something that really inspired me. He said, well, if it were easy, everyone would be doing it. And I think that's so true. And while I love my active practices in yoga, I have to say that it is when I slow down in this way that I am able to really digest all of my experiences. And that allows me to connect to lasting change, which is also a practice and a process, of course.
And if you are lying in the back bend heart opener, go ahead and bend your knees, placing the soles of the feet on the ground if you're not already there. And gently rolling off the bolster onto one side. And then if you are in a child's pose, gently use the palms of your hands to bring you up. We'll transition into our final posture of this practice, which is our Shavasana. Take the bolster, place it perpendicular towards the bottom of the mat. Now, <laughs> if your feet tend to get cold, like mine are right now, please take the extra minute to get yourself really cozy and comfortable, maybe putting on some socks or a sweatshirt. You can take one blanket and use it as a pillow. And then we'll take the other blanket and we'll put it over my body. But just so you can see where I'm going, I have my knees on top of the bolster. If you don't have a bolster, permission to use uh, bed pillows, couch pillows, whatever that is for you. place the blanket on top of my body and I'll roll back. You might need to adjust your pillow or blanket. I'm even going to take my ponytail out for all the ladies. And gentlemen, gentlemen have ponytails too. And then just bringing one hand to heart, other hand to belly, if that feels comfortable. If not, just placing your arms wide alongside your body. Connecting to your breath. This quiet, humble companion that keeps us alive. That really asks for nothing in exchange. Accepts the occasional time, care, and love.
And as you breathe up and down the entire body, connect to anything that you're ready to let go of, to recycle into the earth underneath you. Noticing it travel down your spine and into the earth. Saying thank you for teaching me. Thank you for making me stronger. And as you lie here in Shavasana, permission to visualize that you're floating on a crystal clear lake. You can hear the gentle splashing of the waves. the earth, the water underneath your back offers you this opportunity to let go to reunite, reconnect with that heart of yours. And so you allow yourself to do that. Gentle water washes under you, over you safely. And at the end of it all, Mother Earth places you safely back onto shore. Go ahead and give yourself a hug. Inhale deeply. Open your mouth and exhale. Now think of three things that you feel grateful for in this moment.
people, the places, the moments that help us grow. All of that. Permission to be human, my friend. Begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Extend the arms overhead. With the eyes still closed, extend the toes down. Coming in for a long stretch of the body. Reawakening after this rebirth. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll over to your right side. Hanging out in this in-between moment for a minute or two. And use your palms to bring you up. With the eyes still closed, bring your heart, your hands to heart center. Know that you are never alone. I love this community so much and I cannot be more grateful to get to explore mind, body and spirit every Sunday with my favorite people. So thank you for being a part of that. Thumbs to the third eye. Namaste, friends. Thank you all for joining.